Ooh, these are the shelves that just keep on giving. Look at that. See this girl back here. She's very nicely done. Okay, these I knew were Jim Shore. Like Jim Shore. Like you can spot it. Those are different. What are you? Okay, I think I recognize that cat. That is the um oh gosh. Starts with a K. I do <laughs> like this. I actually have one of these little guys. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, I kind of learned that they bring new carts out in the afternoon. So I timed my adventure to Goodwill when I think the best chance for there to be new stuff coming out. And I haven't been to this store for a while, so it should be all new stuff on the shelf to me. So without further ado, let's get in here and let's get shop done. All right, you know the first thing we've got to do. We gotta pick us out a lucky cart. Light blue, dark blue. Which one would you choose? I'm gonna go with the light blue. There we go. Does it roll? It rolls. And we have a new color of the week. It is orange. Oh man, do you see that really adorable bunny? I don't think it's anything very high quality or Really worth me picking up for resale, but he is awful cute. He was actually better looking from afar than close up, so that makes me feel a little better. And Unicorn. Loves Purity, Princeton Gallery. Ooh, they want $20. Is it worth $20? I don't know. That one and we'll have to look up and flash it up here on the screen when we get home. Looks like somebody's whole unicorn collection, yes. Although these aren't unicorns, those are just carousel horses. Ooh, but they're all, every one of them is $20. Ooh, we have children playing with things, clicky things in the background. Let's see, these are kind of cool candlesticks for 4th of July time coming up. They're that, you know, like the safari patchwork animals. Uh, it's the same process where it's almost like a fabric underneath an acrylic glaze. Those are cool, but all right. I don't think I'm going to get them even though I really like them, but I do really, really like these puppy bookends, but they are priced at $10 each. So those will be staying. Well, when the prices are up there like that, it sure does keep me from being tempted to take things I shouldn't. This guy is half priced. He is actually a fairly decent sculpture. He's a Santee, I do believe is what that says. It would be $6.50. I don't know that a skier missing a pole is such a great uh, subject piece though, so we're gonna leave him. Oh, and all the Norman Rockwell mugs. This is unfortunately a collectible that just doesn't really have a whole lot of value and they're asking five bucks a piece. I'm going to suspect without even looking it up that these are maybe worth five bucks a piece. I think that's that's about full retail on those. This is kind of pretty. Let's see. Oh, it's got the fish on the inside. I do like that. It is a, oh, it is $30. It is a Satsuma. It's beautiful but $30 just doesn't leave us enough meat on the bone. All right, let's see about this little fish here. If you're not broken, you are the right price. Yeah, you're four bucks. All right, finally, we found something to put in the cart. Let's see this girl back here. She's very nicely done. Has a Yadro look to her, but I can tell she's not Yadro. She is one of the knockoffs of the time, Toyo. And they went $30 for her. I'm not so sure she is selling for that much. Okay, so this Goodwill is a little optimistic with their pricing today. 
Hmm. Are those Mrs. Albies? I think they are. Although I don't recall one with a snowman, but let's see. Oh, they are. It's 2003. Mrs. Albie. Huh. That was after my time at Avon, so I don't remember that one. I don't even know what happened to all of my Mrs. Albies. I had that one. I'm like a wonder now if I'm going to uncover them out of all my storage stuff. You know how over the years you just lose track of things? I've lost track of all of my Avon awards. I talked about my little Avon, not really a career, my Avon foray, let's call it, uh, in a live that I did. And I know sometimes you have to go looking for the live replays, but if you go to the main screen of my channel and you hit the little tab that says live, you'll see it. It was on Super Bowl Sunday I filmed that and I talk a lot about my history there. But look at this, this is a Tom Clark. 1988 piano and it's half price like what's wrong with it something was sitting on the piano what was on the piano or is that piano music wait a minute no that's the piano music there's nothing missing there is nothing wrong with this piano and i will be picking that up for 250. let's see her what are you made of your resin 13 dollars resin no name Mmm. Yay. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. Something going on at this Goodwill. Ooh, I do like these napkin rings. How beautiful are those? I sell a lot of, like, napkin rings and coasters and that kind of thing, and I love that these are already in a box for $4. We'll grab those. That's an interesting little glazed piece back here. $3.99. I don't see any chips, and I am kind of digging the little speckled glaze. Let's grab that, too. All right, you know I have a thing for the wood bases, too. And this one has a really neat look with its little knots. Look at that. Real wood, five bucks. So even amongst all the higher price stuff, you can still find some treasures. We're going to grab that. Ooh, these are the shelves that just keep on giving. Look at that. That looks like a little, either a spoon rest or for a rolling pin or just a little trinket dish. But I think, well, now that I look at it, are they birds? I thought they were birds. Are they birds? I don't know if they're birds, but it's $2. So I'm grabbing that. All right, let's see if there's anything else down here. Autumn, autumn, autumn plates and I don't see anything else on this shelf oh it's got no no little clapper ringer thing in it what's the oh they're bookends now these are actually together no are they yes they are that's odd because hold on let me figure this out are there like two more that are supposed to go with this? It almost looks like it was a set of four. Oops, sorry little guy. To begin with, because this and this don't really look at, because they're facing backwards. I'm trying to figure this out. And if you go this way, all right, I'm totally confused. Totally, totally confused by those. I am gonna leave those because they're confusing me don't quite get it all right let's see don't want to miss anything good it's a little willow tree for six dollars they don't sell for much more than that unfortunately coasters those ones don't really excite me though another little piece of pottery. This one is a little odd. Okay, we'll leave that one. Ah, give me a B. Okay, we round the corner. See what we've got in these candle holders. Ten bucks. Not sure why those are ten bucks. I like these little columns. Those are fun. They're five dollars each though. 
I don't know that they are five dollars each fun. Mm -hmm. If this had its mate, this would be a neat salt and pepper set, but this one has some chipping on it. My friend Julie of One Way Vintage makes some pretty incredible little crafty things out of single shakers, so I do pick them up for her when I find them, and I think they're ones that she could use. Those are trying to look mid-century, but they're not. And then this caught my eye. I learned to never trust the tape completely. It is Royal, Royal Beirut. Bavaria. Royal Beirut is a good name in China, but I don't know. Eight dollars. It is a neat piece. It's not just an ordinary dish. Like, this is like a butter dish. I think I can swing the eight dollars on there and be okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hmm. What is that? I'm not sure. Okay. Not sure what that was all about. Yeah, not too much excitement. There's a decanter up here for gin specifically. Oh, he's just kind of fun. His little hat is the lid. He makes you 1980, 1982, I think that says. And Alberta. He's fun. But he is $13 and not really in my niche. Always got to look up on top too and see what goodies are up there. Spongeware plates. The top one doesn't look like it matches the bottom ones. It's kind of in folk crafting. Whole little set there. I am just determined to really stay away from dish sets, glassware sets, and things because I really, I just personally don't enjoy dealing with them once I've bought them. I don't like shipping them. I don't like storing them. So I've changed in my ways. Now, I normally don't pick up bells. I really don't. But this is a Benton Silvercrest, hand painted by V. I can't read the name of that Fenton artist 13. That's a lot though. This is the Spanish lace, I believe they call this. I am going to look this one up and see what the bell is going for. So I looked it up. This bell sells for 25 to $30. So I am going to break my rule only because I know I can sell this quickly and I can double my money. So the bell will be coming with me. And sometimes I kind of look at something else in my cart that is a lot less and if I switch kind of those prices in my mind then I really can justify it as well. Okay, these I knew were Jim Shore, like Jim Shore, like you can spot it. Um, unfortunately they are a little chippy and it's a U and an I and I don't know if you can do much with just a U and an I, but it was kind of a cool find, Jim Shore sitting on the shelf. And then there's these little cute, cute, cute little Brandywine Woodcrafts. Look at these. The fish market. I kind of want that. No, that would be bad, huh? That would be bad to put up next to the aquarium, wouldn't it? No, okay. Never mind that. That, okay. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be good. In the butcher shop. Yeah, no. I, okay. Bad thinking there. But these are super cute. I like these better than the Liberty Houses. The detail on these is so much better. And at 99 cents each, I feel like I can do something with these. Ah, there's a cute little birdhouse, but it's definitely a decorative one. Oh, came from Big Lots. Wait, it was $10 at Big Lots, and it's only $7 at Goodwill now. Hmm, not even half price. Oh, goodness. Blue sky. Blue sky what? Blue sky something. Whew, that was loud. It's a hook for a blue sky something. Not sure what would have gone on there. What do we got? We got Anglia map. Uh, I see Scotty. 
I can't read that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where this is. Okay. Ocean Germanic. It's all Latin. It's all in Latin. I don't think this is old. It's Saxton's map of England and Wales, 1579. Okay, well, there we go. And it's got a date printed, 1971. That's actually a really nice, really nice map. Now, see, that's only $6.99. Why is that only $6.99? That's definitely got more value than $6.99. But I'm sitting here getting rid of a lot of large art that I can't really deal with. But I could take this out of the frame and put it in a tube uh, for for shipping purposes. I just think six ninety nine is too good of a deal to pass up. I'm grabbing it. All right, recipe box. Dream without fear. I agree. Dream without fear. What is this? What's in here? Oh, you slide that way. Oh, it would have been a little cheese cutting set with the cheese board. That was nice. At some point in its life. Oh, look! We've got the nautical shop and the bakery to go with the ones I already got. And they are also 99 cents. Give me an S. Give me a crazy horn S. Oh, wait. You go that way. It's kind of cool. Nope. That... We don't need to be picking up. Earrings, rings, bracelets, pins, and necklaces. That's a cutie, but it's just a cheap little wood one. Okay, that's interesting. Very 70s. I wish there was two of them. I don't think there is. Do I want to pay $3? I don't think I want to pay $3 for that. I will pass on that one. Unless, unless it had a friend somewhere in here, I would get it, but I don't see one. Let's see what we've got here. A little eight ball. Schoenfeld's variety pick. Oh man, those are so cute, but they're $4. 2008. I do like those, but not for four. Let's see who makes you. $25. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> Do not be discouraged, Danny. You have things in the cart. It's all good. <laughs> Let's see. What? Oh, look at you. Oh, you're very lightweight. You just look like a modern sculpture. Brutalist style. Do so you ever hear me talk about Brutalist? Brutalist is... A uh, very coarse art style. See how just it's kind of like smashed together. Now this is a, this is a reproduction resin piece of a bronze. The bronze would have had that same look. He is cool, but uh, yeah, we're gonna leave him at ten dollars. That's interesting looking. Oh, it's metal and lightweight. It is not pottery. I thought it was pottery at first. Cute kitties. Kind of a nice piece of pottery, but again, very modern. I can tell it's a newer, more mass marketed piece. Something to crow about. That's very cute. I don't like how the words are all scrunched together, though. The, that kind of spoils it for me. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. It would hold um, probably like a little candle down here and then like a bigger dish at the top, you know, for like a uh, like a wax warmer type thing. Those are pretty cool. But I don't have the pieces to put it together. So I will leave that for someone else. That is interesting. Is it supposed to be like a frame? It is, it's a frame. It's kind of nice. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's check out the fakery. I am still on the search for white flowers for Jordan's wedding. I'm not. I'm not seeing 
much fake flowery stuff at all. This makes it easy. Hmm, pottery, vases, glass vases, but nothing too thrilling. All right, pretty, but that is an imported piece. Those are different. What are you? Almost looks like an Avon piece, and I'm wondering. Oh, yeah, of course it is. They would have had cologne in them at some point. These are interesting, kind of like pottery fairy lamp kind of guys. For six dollars. All right. Pretty blue vase, but again, it's an imported piece. I get asked often, how can you tell, like so quick? I just, I've been doing this so long, you know, you just, you just develop that sense of being able to tell what's really good quality and what's not. And that came over years and years of picking stuff up, buying the wrong things. I bought, I made a lot of bad purchases in the beginning when I was learning glass, but that's how I learned. I got my hands on it. I'd research it. Now doing the videos, researching I can do like right from the videos many times. Um, but it's just, you know what? It's just digging into it and having a passion for it and you'll learn it. All right, we've got the plastic section. We always give it a skim, you never know what's going to show up in the plastics. Believe it or not, there are some things that are plastic that are worth more than things that are glass or pottery sometimes. Those are fun. I've sold some melamine dishes for more than regular dishes are worth. Definitely easier to ship. Mugs, 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 mugs. Okay. I finally got all my mugs listed, so if you've been waiting for a particular mug to be listed, they did get listed finally. And something I do in the shop, in case you don't know, um, things that don't sell, you know, within like the first week or two, I do mark down and put into my clearance collection over at the nicheladyshop.com. So you never know, you never know what's still gonna be hanging around and get to a price point that you like. So $6 for the little teapot and $4, so it's $10 for the set. But I don't think it's old and I don't think it's like that highly desirable, but it's pretty. And glassware is another thing that I am kind of veering away from for now. Although those are really sweet little, these could even be platinum and not silver. Uh, these companies used real silver, real gold, real platinum for making the rims on these little little glasses. Those are those are tempting. They're very very tempting, but I'm going to back away from them. This is another really pretty set with a pretty pattern on them. Gold rims. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's a silver overlay. Always have to check the condition of the silver, make sure it's all still there. A lot of them do get tarnished, as you can see. This is only $2? Oh my goodness, no chips on the feet, just a little tarnish on the silver. I can't leave that for $2, come on. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I didn't buy like a whole set of glasses, I just found one dish over here. Okay, what's hanging out here in some of the kitchen wares? See up top now. What are these? I spotted these and oh, they're salt and peppers? Well, that's fascinating. Look at that. Heath. Made in USA. Huh. They are $3 each, so it'd be $6 for the set. Never heard of Heath. I tell you, it's like right now my eyes are set just a little different after cl 
clearing the store, giving a lot of stuff away, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff away, donating a ton of stuff. Uh, it's just been very, very humbling and made me very aware of what I'm picking up. And again, how quickly can I process it, sell it, get it out? This is a problem. The stuff that I am uh, having to disperse is stuff that's been in storage before I got a system. And so I just never seem to get to be able to go backwards and get to that stuff. I did. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff still that I will need to do unboxings and things. Very cute treat jar. Uh, and that will be coming up on the channel, but I'll make it part of the channel and include you guys and you can help me make decisions because I will be donating more stuff. If nobody wants it, I'm not storing it anymore. It's got to go. It's all got to go. So there will be that coming up in the very near future. That's a pretty looking dish. It is pressed glass. If that were cut glass, I'd be scooping it up but it is not cut, it is pressed. Lots of big stuff. See, big stuff isn't really even like on my radar <laughs> right now. Um, I really, all my lamps and a lot of my artwork and all that kind of stuff, I just let go of. Just had to let go of it. Even though I'm listing on Cherish again, it, it's just, it's too much. Too much to deal with and sometimes you just have to know when to let go as hard as it can be sometimes. All right, nothing too exciting here in the dishes, is that a, okay, he's painted, he's not, if he was fused glass, he'd be tempting, but he's not, he's painted. We can leave the painted bunny. This says Lennox, and it is a plate. Looks like somebody tried to, oh wait, here it's open. Oh, so it's a like Lennox, little Christmas plate. They are asking $8 on it though. Small appliance aisle. We always give a little quick run through just to see what might have ended up over here. Las Vegas USA host Gala Night 1999. If it didn't have that, that would be a really cool little piano. Okay, yep, nothing over here. It's been really good to be able to go through every bit of what I had in storage before. You know, sometimes when you move and you just quickly throw things into storage and then you kind of forget about them. That's what I've been going through. A lot of my kids' personal stuff got put in storage. Some of our family games, photo albums. So it feels really good to now be finding that stuff again and getting it all back under our roof and getting organized. So some good is coming out of this. Okay, what is this? Is it, oh, is it like a calendar? It is, so I guess it works kind of like that. And so like the 13th or the 15th or the 16th. Okay, so it's like a calendar. And then you got a little storage for like what paper clips or whatever. That's kind of cute. It's five bucks because it's on sale for half price. I just don't know if that has a whole lot of value. But I could definitely use this jewelry tray down here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, I can use this for uh, setting up when I do jewelry sales over on the Knit Shopping Network can put rings or even some bracelets here pins necklaces oh this is this is awesome and then under here is a little jewelry box I got to take a peek at that's kind of a nice jewelry box I always get people asking me for jewelry boxes it is five dollars it's got a little bit of no it's a little it's a little too chewed up on top that's a shame I definitely because you can clean this pretty easy just use some tape and you can get up all that old stuff, even a little vacuum, vacuum it out, but you can't really repair that. So I'm gonna leave it. Okay, what's hiding in here? Oh, it's a little fuzzy pumpkin. All right, we don't need a little fuzzy pumpkin. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Oh, look at those great big stencil letters. Man, these things are cool. Three dollars. I just, I don't need them. But gosh, I can appreciate the value. And I know that said $15, but I think they're even more than that now. There have been times I have priced out stencils and things like that. They are not cheap. All right, what do we have in the little party supply section here? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Plastic knives. What, what are you? Wine o'clock kit? Okay. Don't need that. Oh, that's a pretty little dish. The little pink roses on it. It'd be a little soap dish. Fine porcelain is all I can make out there. Sweet. Don't need it though. And don't need any pet supplies. All right, let's see what we got over in the pillows. All nice and neat. Somebody's just come through and straightened it up. What has not happened is any new carts of stuff. And this is usually the time of day they bring out carts. So maybe it's still coming or maybe today is a day they don't restock. That would be my look. In fact, I'm thinking it might be the day they don't restock. Look how fun he is. Gotta leave you. Okay, I think I recognize that cat. That is the, um, oh gosh, starts with a K. Kilban, there it is. It's the Kilban cat. It's a Kilban cat pillowcase. And I think somewhere I have a sheet set, unless I sold it. I might've sold it already. If you bought the Kilban cat set from me, <laughs> let me know, there's a pillowcase. But you know what? I, I don't think this will be that expensive. Let's see, how much are you? You were 99 cents. Oh yeah, Kilbin Cat is coming with me. See, the thing is, even if I don't sell it, Rachel would love it. It's got a cat on it. It's got an animal. Rachel would take any, any animal. Let's see what they've got in the tablecloths. That doesn't look like a tablecloth. That looks, I don't know what that looks like. Ooh, what are you? We plant the seeds, but God gives the harvest. That's sweet. Oh, that's a, oh, you're a table, um, uh, a runner, a table runner, right? Is that what I'm trying? Oh, my brain is a little tired. The words aren't coming easily. All right, let's see. What are you, little fuzzy pinkness? Oh, you are squished in, oh, what are you? Oh, you're a collar. A collar off of like a little sweater or something. Scarves. Oh, that's pretty. Just fabric, it looks like. Oh, more collars. All right. Oh, that's pretty too. Look at that. Oh, look at those colors. Kind of like that. All right. Nothing that we need to be taking home today, though. So I got all of those ties a couple of videos ago. I've already sold a couple of them. And this is another good brand. This is uh, $3.99. It's a Jerry Garcia. Show you the back. Jay Garcia. And it's the Snail Garden Collection 58. So I think I'm going to pick that one up since I've got ties already listed. What's one more? Okay, we're over in the furniture section here to see just what's here. I almost never buy anything unless I'm like specifically looking for something, but I do like to keep an eye on what's for sale. I think that's a Big Joe beanbag chair. Yeah, I don't see anything else too exciting. Yeah, and as I said, you know, I just really can't pick up art unless it's like a super valuable piece. I no longer have the store to display and sell things in person, so anything that I buy has to be shipped. So I have to keep that in mind now in my shopping endeavors. I do, I do, I do <laughs> like this. I actually have one of these little guys. 
Oh, it's only a dollar. Hand cast paper. All right, there's this one, and I think... Oh, no, there's another one up there, so I'm going to get both of those. I like this one, too, but I don't like him as well as I like the other one, even though he's... Oh! Well, it's a good thing there's another hook here for me to hook that onto. There we go. Yeah, I don't like those ones nearly as well. I'm, I, they don't, they don't connect with me quite as much as the other one. Okay, that's an interesting piece. Oh, it looks like maybe it came out of like a hotel or something, and they ran like computer wires or something out the back. It's kind of a nice piece of wood, is what I was noticing. Look at that grain. It's pretty. I mean, little art. I can deal with little art, but I'm still going to be careful. Ooh, home is not a place. It's a feeling. I like that. I like that saying a lot. Unicorns. Definitely had a unicorn collection. Got dropped off. What are you? Just some of these little abstract painting. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Fun bird. Oh, look at you. You have a name. You say Richard, I want to say Hanger? $2.99. It is older. You can tell the way that it's, the way that it's framed. I, I like the owls. Can't help it. I like them. Let's see what else is back here. Puppies. Love wins. All right. Cute little bathtubs. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to dig too hard. I really don't want to find too much. I do. Okay. Is it just me, or is that pulling at anybody else? It is probably just hotel art. It probably is. Look, it was $30. Great indoors art, lush poppy. Made in Canada. It's only $5. There's something about that I just really, really like. I'm, yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, let's peek through the purses. Let's see. I'm not super optimistic. That's cute. Rosetti. I think that's Tory Birch, isn't it? Is that the Tory? No. No, no, no. That's his GD something. It's trying to look like the Tory Birch cross, though. Had me look twice. I gotta give it that. Mm. Alright, nothing. Nothing really calling me. Yep, not today. All right, let's see what we've got in the jewelry case here. Anything exciting? Oh my goodness, they've got jars, lots of jars. They are $25 each. I have not found anything super exciting in the jewelry jars lately, so I'm not really gonna go digging through those. I actually still have one that I haven't even opened yet. So I'm going to be disciplined. Until I do that, I'm not buying more. Okay, I don't see really anything here that is screaming at me. And that's kind of the thing here in Las Vegas. A lot of the good jewelry goes to the Goodwill Finds. Um, it goes online. You know, our good, Goodwill Finds and what's the other one? ShopGoodwill.com. I mean, they have their online venues where they pull and they put stuff, so can't blame them. Uh, so generally, the, the jewelry's pretty picked over. Every once in a while, I find like a piece of costume that they don't realize because it's costume jewelry, they think it's not great. They're mostly looking for like gold, silver, real stones, real, real stuff. So um, for that reason, I don't really find anything great in the jewelry most of the time. But anyway, I'm going to head to the checkout. Uh, stay tuned. I'll do a recap of everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
I got out of there before the sun's going down, but it does end up that today is the day they don't bring out hard goods. They were restocking clothing, but not hard goods. I'm gonna have to remember that. I need to like make a chart. We have, I think there's 18 Goodwills. And I know, I keep saying, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I can't get to them all in one day. Well, I could if I don't like do a, like a thorough thorough. If I just went to the hard goods in 18 different, I could do it. I could do it if I just spent, I would have to just spend like 20 minutes in each one and I could get done in like a 10 hour day. <laughs> I could do it. I could do it. I'm thinking about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If that would be fun for me to try to hit every single Goodwill in Las Vegas in one day. I don't know if it's possible. It would be a challenge. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking about it. Anyway, it's time to get back to work. I got to keep packing. I got to keep, I got to keep, I got to keep going. That's what we got to do in this life, right? We just got to keep going. All right. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. Let me know what you thought. What was your favorite item that I got? I will read them all. I will read them all. And uh, with that, everybody, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.